Hello everyone, it's Nicole here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing some wear plan shopping in Kansas City. I am at the KC Tiny Greenhouse. They have so many very beautiful exotic plants. I don't know if you guys can tell from the background, there are a few plants back here. <laughs> this is a sneak peek. They have a lot of beautiful philodendrons, monsteras, um, Ethereum, Alocasia, a lot of varieties. I'm loving it and I think you guys will love it too. Alright, before we go plant shopping, I would like to thank today's video sponsor Skillshare and I will talk more about them later in the video. Alright, let's go check out this Casey Tiny Greenhouse. <music> This is the local plant shop I'm going to visit today. It is called the KC Tiny Greenhouse. I've never been here and I've heard they have a lot of beautiful, exotic rare plants. Of course, they're commercially rare. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to check it out. I already saw some very pretty plants through the windows. I cannot wait to show you guys. Here is the left side of the greenhouse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then we're going to turn to the right side. Look at these beautiful micons. Beautiful. Huge alocasia. Scissors, this color. And a lot of airways. Hoyas, a lot of philodendrons, monsteras. Are you guys ready for the rare plants? Because I am, so let's take a look. This is such a beautiful greenhouse, beautiful corner. Oh my goodness. They have a lot of pots. They're all handmade by our local artist. Also some art. Look at this one, it's so cute more pots they have some oh my god philodendron civil sore look at how shiny each leaf is it is so gorgeous so silvery they also have a bigger one i think this one is in a six inch pot beautiful Alocasia dragon scale. I really like the way that they label their plants. They put the name here and also the environment the plant will thrive in. Medium to bright in direct light, soil should dry down three-fourths the way. This is so user-friendly. Alocasia dragon scale. When you look at the baby Alocasia dragon scale, you might think, oh, it's just um, Alocasia, it's pretty. But if you look at the more mature form, oh my gosh, it's so stunning. Look at this. I love the grayish color and also the deep, very, very deep color on the foliage and the pattern. Beautiful. They have different sizes. They also have a smaller one, 75, 125. So many air oils. This leaf is so gorgeous. I love long leaves and the shape of the leaf also very unique. Philodendron glad hands. Cute. And the size is also very good. Beautiful. The aerial roots look so healthy. You can easily chop it here and put it in water, soil, or lacquer for propagation. And I love propagation because you can share the plant to other people. Monstera Peru. This is such a perfect 
Monstera Peru is so beautiful. Love the green and darker green color. Very veiny. I love veiny foliage plants. Raphadophora decursiva. I don't know if I say it correctly. Probably not. I also like their foliage. Very shiny. Very healthy. All of their plants are so healthy. And Alocasia black velvet. Pretty. I really want an Alocasia, but I just could not provide the humidity level to Alocasia, so I have to say bye. <laughs> More Monstera Peru is so gorgeous. Let's take a look at some Hoyas. Variegated Hoya Carrii. I've been wanting one so bad. Some beautiful, beautiful Hoya Sunrise. When it gets a lot of sunlight, the foliage will turn red or turn pink. I love it. Wow. It's very cute. They have a lot of Hoya Sunrise. And more Alocasia and Anthuriums. Alocasia Quilted Dreams. A little bit different than the other Alocasia that we saw. This one is more green color it's so pretty anthurium love anthurium leaves this one is anthurium forgetii i believe yeah anthurium forgetii there are three leaves in one pot six inch pot they also have another anthurium i think I get confused by the Anthurium varieties because look at that. They do look pretty similar, right? But this is a different variety. Anthurium Magnificum. It's so gorgeous. I really like the contrast. Oh my gosh, I really want one. But again, I don't have the right environment for Anthurium, so I will pass. Another Anthurium that I know you guys are crazy about. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Anthurium villanarum. Compared to the other Anthuriums, this one definitely has longer leaves and I love it. More philodendrons are up here. I'm so sorry, it might be a little bit backlit, but I see a philodendron Florida ghost. I love the leaf shape. I also love the stem. I know it might drive some people crazy. <laughs> I also really like the philodendron plumenii. It's in my wish list. Look at this. It's so cute. So adorable. Some micans hanging out here and there's a gloriosum. And another smaller size, Gloriosum, also here. And oh, this is a beauty. Let me take it down. This is Anthurium Magnificum cross papillilamnium. Wow, look at how velvety the leaf is. So shiny, velvety. There is a beautiful Syngolium Frosted Heart. I love how big the foliage is and the frosted effect on each leaf. It's so cute. They also have, ooh, this is freaking cute. A variegated welfin. Oh, there's another welfin. And there's a baby coming out. This is so gorgeous. This is the other side of the corner. It is so peaceful, so zen. I love how they display their plants. Pretty. There's a little pond and some goldfish here. Maybe not. 
Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one right here. Oh, another one. Some very cool hanging plants. String of dolphins, a string of bananas. This is the Hoya, Ninarius, Ninarius. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Vanilla orchid. And a philodendron Peru on a tortum. Beautiful. I love the mirror that they set it out here. You can take a selfie. I think that looks so cute. And oh, these are beautiful trellis. I think they're for sale as well. Here are two beautiful hanging scissors this color. Oh my goodness, they're so cute, but they're quite tall, so I couldn't reach them. Let me see. Let me try. Okay, do you see the new leaf coming out? Last but not least, I would like to thank today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people to explore new skills. Besides house plants, I love fresh flowers and dry flowers. They are the perfect home decor. One of the classes that I really enjoyed is called Everyday Flowers Simple Stunning Arrangements for Any Occasion by Spencer Falls. In this class, he taught me how to pick flowers, build bouquets around color, texture, and composition, and create permanent art pieces using dry flowers. I've learned so much from him and I cannot wait to unlock another new skill. Of course, there are so many topics and classes that you can choose from, such as business analytics, photography, and graphic design. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. But now, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity. I will put the link in the description box. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button to turn on all notifications so that you will not miss out any of my future videos. I'm also active on Instagram and Facebook, so don't forget to connect with me there. Anyways, my name is Nicole. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.